Hi, Armin here again. Now we're going to demonstrate the seated dumbbell curl from Vince Garab. So what we're going to do, depending on what kind of bench you have to work with, sit like this. You grab the dumbbells. We we'll keep your feet and the legs as close as you can inside. Okay, that way the, the legs don't get not do not get in the way of the movement. We're going to start straight like this. Keep the elbows back. Curl up. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Exhale as you come up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. As you can tell, I'm rotating the wrist and then coming up and doing the hold. This rotation is referred to as a supination movement. Okay, coming up and then hold and then back down. Nice control. So that's using dumbbells. Next, we're gonna go to bands. You can do them seated. You can also do them standing too. It just depends on what you have to work with. Um, but again, we want to control the tension with the bands with your feet. So how much, depending on how far away your legs are will determine that tension. So we're gonna take the bands and be like this. We're gonna rotate, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right back down. Exhale as we come up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right back down, rotate and repeat. All right, so now if you don't have a bench, you can use a ball. We have that right here. So what we do is take the dumbbells. And again, it's important when you're having this kind of a surface here is to get in front so you're good and comfortable. And again, exhale, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And when you hold it like that and squeeze, you can really feel the muscles engage. That's what you want to do in all your exercises. Okay, so that wraps it up for the bicep seated curl.